I told everybody I was done with laser videos. No more lasers. I'm done. Welcome to Dark Horse Workshop, everyone. My name is Magnus, and today I'm going to be going over yet another laser cutter. Now, I only say that because I told myself I wouldn't be reviewing any more lasers for quite a while. But then we create Keep Calling with a new 45 Watt Vision Pro, and I have to admit, I thought I had more willpower than that. Remember that I sell all kinds of medieval, Viking, and fantasy-inspired leathercraft patterns and Viking art for laser cutters. These come in both PDF and SVG files. You can find links to both my website and Patreon in the doodly-doo box down below, though my Patreon is by far my best deal. So be sure to at least check it out. Also, I have an affiliate link in the description of this video, as well as a discount code. If you're interested in picking up the WeCreate Vision Pro, where I get a small kickback at no extra charge to you, and that helps me do what I do. So thanks. I want to specifically see how the Vision Pro compares to its primary competitors, the x 2 S1 40 watt and the Creality Falcon 2 Pro 60 watt. So now to the unboxing. It's unboxed. I'm not unboxing this. We've already got it. Came in a box. We're good. We're good to go. I make a lot of leather armor and cutting thick hides can be a giant pain in the ass, but not anymore with lasers like the Vision Pro. We've got a 45 watt enclosed diode laser with a clean 19.7 inch by 12.6 inch work area, built in air assist, LIDAR autofocusing, auto leveling for thicker or thinner materials, unmatched rotary engraving, which it still has from the earlier models, its own great We Create Make It software, and you're literally to top it all off a high definition camera. And yes, this time the camera actually works with light burn, unlike the previous vision models which was pretty much a deal breaker for so many people. WeCreate has also introduced a brand new beam focus technology, which makes the laser beam much finer for something with this much power. So less swapping heads for fine detail work, if that's your thing. Now, as I was saying before, what people really want to know is my opinion on how the Vision Pro compares to the x 2 S1 and Creality Falcon 2 Pro, as well as, is it even worth upgrading from the 40 watt version of the WeCreate Vision. Versus the original WeCreate Vision, it has more power, a bigger work area, and tighter engravings. I love the original Vision, and this certainly just adds to it. The Vision Pro is that same great laser, but better. For me personally, the work area was one of the main reasons I did not choose the original WeCreate Vision 40 watt as my winner in a little head-to-head -head challenge against the X-Tool S1 40 watt and the Creality Falcon 2 40 watt. I can't remember if I did the 40 watt in that little competition or not. I need to cut large pieces of armor out, so size really mattered. For someone like me, this is a huge deal. For you, maybe not. Now, versus the X-Tool S1, I can't sit here and pretend that the X-Tool S1 isn't still the reigning champ for pinpoint engraving precision. Hold on a second, let me interrupt really, really quickly. This isn't gonna work, let's bring this up here. Yeah, sorry for the interruption, everybody. I just wanted to get this off my chest really quickly. I'm in the middle of the edit, and somehow during my testing early on, the camera was a little weird, but that was user error. That was me not reading the instructions or me not doing something in order. I don't know, I don't read instructions. If you're anything like me, uh, leave a comment down below. I don't read instructions, I just figure it out because you know everything always works out in the end. Anyways, this camera is absolutely amazing. Exactly what I was hoping for. Um, the whole pinpoint precision versus camera angle that I was gonna do, kind of out the window now, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, so yeah, just wanted to go over that really quick. I feel really stupid, so uh, troll me in the comments as well. Uh, I don't mind, troll away, but yeah, this is a, an outstanding camera with outstanding precision, and I'm very, very happy. Unlike the Vision Pro, which uses a fisheye style overhead camera, you actually move the S1 laser head around the workspace and physically map out the location of your material. There are tons of times where I'd rather just throw a chunk of leather in, activate the camera, and get right to work. Fisheye lenses, like the one on the Vision Pro, can distort the image. Not very much, not very much. The S1 needs a separate riser base to get the job done, whereas the Vision Pro just does it out of the box. Now versus the Crowley Falcon 2. 
their 60 watt is priced in the middle somewhere with their 40 watt coming in as the cheaper option. The Falcon 2 also has no Wi-Fi and needs some extra feet screwed onto the bottom of the laser in order to rise it up for thicker projects. And let's be clear, WeCreate is advertising that this 45 watt laser cuts like a 60 watt, but even if it doesn't cut like a 60 watt, I can't justify trading away all the features of the Vision Pro for what is just maybe a more powerful laser module. The size of the work area is still my favorite on the Falcon 2. It's actually like a big square, more like 16 and a half by 16 or something like that, because I do a lot of big boxy uh, armor pieces. For me, the Vision Pro, just like its predecessors, is still the easiest laser cutter I've ever used, from setup to its autofocus and leveling, how easy it is to do rotary engraving. Everything is just uh, easy, for lack of a better word. It's easy, it's really easy. So the Make It software is actually pretty intuitive, and for beginners, that live camera preview is a game changer, but for folks who live and breathe in light burn, it's fully supported this time, so that's awesome. And yes, the camera actually integrates without needing some kind of ritual sacrifice to the dark gods above. Obviously, everybody out there is wondering about price, so let's go over the price as of the making of this video right now. We've got the WeCreate Vision Pro at $2,300 US, the X-Tool S1 at $2,200 US, and the Crowley Falcon 2 Pro at both $2,650 US for the 60 watt I figured I would put the 40 watt in here as well for $1,900. Now remember that both the Creality Falcon 2 Pro and the X-Tool S1 are gonna either need the extra feet or riser base to do uh, rotary engraving or thicker material. And all of these don't come with the rotary attachment. So you're gonna have to pay a little extra for that as well. What do we have left to do? Oh yeah, tests. We've gotta test this thing. The WeCreate Vision certainly has a better overall gradient, I guess I would say, of fills. Whereas the X-Tool seems to go to the far extremes more easily. When I get my stylus in here, you can see I'm catching the edge a little bit because it's found some depth already, where on the X-Tool it hasn't. I failed to mention that the Vision Pro has an advanced cutting feature where it will lower itself automatically for the second pass to maintain its focus through its cut. Now this is all one pass like I was saying, so it's not something I've done here, but keep that in mind. Other than the WeCreate Vision cutting a little better, the only significant thing I noticed in the cut test is that the X-Tool S1 is just blasting straight through on all of the corners, which is kind of strange. I'm not sure why that is, but inconsistency is never a good thing. Super impressed with these tests I did on a box that I had lying around the shop was pretty fast and deep enough without being unnecessarily deep for my first try. I could have made it deeper, but it was, you know, pretty perfect, really. I did this test here to see just how precise the camera was. It rode right along that edge perfectly, so that made me really happy. This is a JPEG. It turned out a little weird because the wolf itself had a color, so it got really dark, but it's Pretty cool, and I can see some interesting stuff coming out of that in the future. This is just on some oil tan I had lying around. Pretty great at engrave, I must say. And then they, they threw in these ceramic stone tiles. So I'm like, okay, sure, I'll give it a go. And I think I might actually pick up some of these for the art market and craft show uh, shows that I do every once in a while. So they look pretty cool. I have lots of art options for them, which is even better. I also did the top of the box because I might as well try it twice. This is the one time that I forgot to uh, adjust the size of my image after autofocusing. And I also was playing around with the custom material option. So I'm not exactly sure if I did it right, but I did my best, you know? Pretty sweet. Now the rotary attachment was really easy. They have a lot of little options to fit different size uh, tumblers, mugs, whatever. I screwed up my first one, so we're just gonna skip over that one. But this next one turned out really cool. And man, I didn't think I'd ever wanna get into rotary stuff, but I might actually start doing more of these. I need to polish this up a bit more, but man, it look, looks great. Like, 
Hard to argue with that. Now, if you're interested in checking out this machine, I've got a link in the description doodly do box thing down below. Yes, it's an affiliate link. No, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help me buy more white monster energy drinks, I guess. Thanks for staying to the end with me. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for future videos. Check out my website for leathercraft patterns and art to do with fantasy, Viking, and medieval themes. And until next time, keep on being creative in whatever it is you do.